Another step in Rich Dad's six-step process is to find an area you like. For example, in any market, markets move up, markets move down, and markets move sideways. They're called trends. So what you want to look for is the area, hopefully, that's moving up. Would you agree with that? Totally, yes. You know, like we, we always talked about, there's some cities where people are moving out of. They are in people, decline. Right, and people are moving into. Right. And generally, where would you rather invest? Well, obviously, where people are moving into. But the, the interesting thing is, unlike the stock market, where it's very difficult to know which markets are going to go up and which areas of that market are going to go down, with real estate, you can follow the trends because they're, slow, so, they're so slow to evolve. A city that's had high growth in one year is likely to have had high growth the year before and will have high growth the following year, and similarly those with, with slow growth. So it's very easy to figure out which cities and which suburbs within cities and which clusters of streets within suburbs are likely to do well in the future just by watching the past. And you don't get that luxury with many other markets. They're far more fickle and volatile. Right. So in any market, any investment, you have to watch the trends. There's always three trends, up, down, and sideways. Another way people become very successful in choosing the area first is sometimes you look for an area that's been down for years, and all suddenly it comes back to life again. Those right. are really good, aren't they? They're great, and, and the trick is finding when it's in the bottom, because then it's about to take off. And the prices are really low. Prices are low. Most people make the mistake of buying when it's yeah. at the top. They think, wow, this is going right. really well, and they buy at that peak, and then the They're only way to go along is sideways or down again. Right. And if you're just starting out, let me give you one more tip that I learned the hard way. My first investment property I bought on another island in the island of, from Hawaii. So I, I had a problem in this piece of property. It meant I had to catch a plane, fly there, rent a car, and go check my property. And so this, this problem persisted for a while. And so for two days a week, I was getting on a plane, flying to another island, renting a car, look at this property. Mm. So that added to the next thing. If you're going to find an area, make sure it's close to your house. And so I would recommend this is find an area that you can even walk to. You know, in some of my, in my book, I talk about how the first investment property that Kim and I bought together, I used to jog past this neighborhood. So if it's close enough to jog to, it's close enough. It's a great area. Or find an area that you can drive when you're, you know, going back and forth to work. The reason is when you're first starting out, you're bound to make a few mistakes. So make sure the area is close by. It's another good, this, good choice. Right, so that you don't spend two days a week just getting there to fix one minor problem. How do you, I mean, how do you start out as far as, you know, if you've never done this stuff before, I mean, how do you find the deals? How do you go out and, I mean, where do you start? What neighborhoods, you know, I mean, you, if you don't know how to start this process, how, how, how do you do it? So we'll start just by looking first at areas. You want to find out if it's going up, down, or going sideways. Then you want to, and what we're going to take you to are three houses, or we're going to look at property, should I say, mm -hmm. of about the same price point and let you decide whether or not one makes more sense than the other. Mm. It, it's not so much the price, but the trend, as Robert's been saying. So there'll be some areas where you've got a reason to know why the trend will be upwards. Mm. And the thing that always amuses me about real estate relative to other investments is it's so easy to know what a trend is going to be in real estate. For instance, if you're buying just about any other investment, but the one that most people get into is stocks, it is so hard to know which category of stocks is going to be the next one to go up. And often it's very volatile. They'll be up one week, down the next week. 18 months ago, everyone thought technology stocks were the way to go, and we all know what's happened there. When it comes to real estate, the trends are not nearly as volatile. They're much smoother. It's very easy to get the statistics on which cities have been doing better than average in this country and which cities have been doing worse than average. Even within cities, there are suburbs that do better than average and others that do worse than average. So it's easy to get this information, and that will help you determine anywhere in the world where you should be buying.